Hey! You move! You're coming with me! Stay back! You're not taking me in! Okay, that's enough! You got me! Oh good, good, now heal! And no begging! Are you gonna wait for me or not? Oh, thought you'd give me the slip, did ya? Sit your ass down in here! You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then back down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of a nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp. It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for that sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action. Until we all turn on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally. Beat him up with a fire extinguisher. Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kind of. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence, and a husband, and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well. <laughs>